Hello, hello, and welcome to the math review. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions using this specific calculator. We're going to go over four examples, and it might sound like a lot, but I promise you it's not that bad. We're also going to make sure we go over the most important buttons you need to know coming up on the math review. So when you look at the calculator, it can be really, really overwhelming. There are so many things to look at. But I promise you, I'm only going to ask you to focus on this little area of the calculator. And if we zoom in, we can clearly see the buttons you're going to need. You see how there are these buttons here? And there's the blue writing above it. Well, in order to access the functions that are shown in blue, you have to hit this blue button. What you're telling the calculator is, hey, if I hit the blue button, I don't want to use the first function of the button. I want to use the second function of the button. We're talking about how to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. In order to do that, we're going to have to hit the second button and then the ABC button. Because that means what we'll do is, we're telling the calculator, hey, take a mixed number and convert it to an improper fraction. That's what this D over E means. So again, when you hit the second button, you're actually saying to the calculator, don't do what's here on the button, do what's here above the button. Let's take a look at a few examples. So let's say we have 8 and 4 over 7. In order to type 8 and 4 over 7 in the calculator, we need to hit the following buttons. First we'll hit 8, then the ABC button, then 4, then the ABC button, and then 7. This is telling the calculator we want 8 and 4 over 7. But then we hit the second button, and then the ABC button again. And then we hit enter. Let's do that in the calculator. So we have 8, ABC, 4, ABC, 7, second. And you'll notice that this little indication came on in the lower left corner. The calculator is telling you, hey, what second function are we going to use? And what we're using is this one, the ABC's second function, which is to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction or vice versa. That's why it's a double-sided arrow. So let's hit that. And you'll see all the stuff that's written in blue there. And what the calculator is saying is 8 and 4 over 7 is going to get changed from a mixed number into an improper fraction. And that would be 60 over 7. Let's take a look at example 2. 9 and 3 over 5. Well, the first thing we'll press is 9. Then we'll hit ABC. Then we'll hit 3. Then we'll hit ABC again. And then we'll hit 5. Because that's telling the calculator, hey, I want to use the mixed number 9 and 3 over 5. And then we'll hit the second button and then the ABC button. So let's type that in the calculator now. So we'll hit 9, ABC, 3, ABC, 5, second, And again, the calculator is showing you that it understands that you're looking for a second function. In other words, something written in blue. And then we'll hit the ABC button again. The calculator is going to take 9 and 3 over 5 and turn it from a mixed number into an improper fraction. And when we hit enter, it'll give us the improper fraction 48 over 5. Let's try this example. 
12 and 9 over 10. So first we'll enter 12, then we'll hit the ABC button, then we'll enter 9, then we'll hit ABC again, then we'll enter 10. Then we'll hit the second button, and then we'll hit ABC one more time. Remember, when you hit the second button before the ABC button, it accesses the function written in blue, also known as the second function. And then we'll hit enter, and that will give us our improper fraction. So let's do this. 12, ABC, 9, ABC, 10, second, and again it'll tell you that you hit the blue button right there where it says second. And then we'll hit ABC again, because now that we hit second, it will access the function in blue which is to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction or vice versa. Oh, by the way, you see how it kind of got rid of some of the stuff we typed in, the 12, the whole number? It's still there. The calculator just ran out of space, so I had to move over a little bit. Then we hit enter, and that'll give us our improper fraction, 129 over 10. And finally, three and three over four. First we'll hit three, then ABC, then three, then ABC, then four. That will give us the mixed number three and three over four. Then we'll hit the second button and ABC one more time. So let's try that in the calculator. Three, ABC, three, ABC, four, second, and then we'll hit ABC one more time. And here's what this all means. The calculator is going to take this stuff and convert it from one to the other. Since we have a mixed number, it's going to take a mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction. We'll hit enter, and that will give us the improper fraction 15 over four.